All right, welcome to day three of me trying to get as much done as I can on my week off. I got up this morning and I wanted to put the brakes back together on the pits, but I found another issue with the calipers. I went and cleaned these all up. I kind of polished these pins a little bit the best I could to clean them. And I went to put it back together. It was still tight in there. And what I noticed is you might be able to see here, see how those pins are not parallel? Basically, this whole assembly up here is bent. And it's like that on both sides. Um, so I might have to replace all of this, which is probably not going to be cheap. So that one also is bent. They're bent both the same. Uh, so I think the mechanic's coming over today to finish some other things up, so I will have him look at that. But this might lead to a, uh, a complete brake change with the calipers and everything. Also, at the end of yesterday's video, I said, come back today because I'd be laying up the fiberglass on this fairing. And I was, it's actually gonna be tomorrow. Because it's when I make a video, it actually gets published the next day, so I'm all confused on my days. But anyway, the mechanic's coming out today to work on the pits, so I'm not really getting much done on the Super Duty. I, I am still cleaning off a little bit of that overspray on the side of the fuselage, so I've been working on that. But we'll be laying up the fiberglass tomorrow, which is Wednesday, so Thursday's video will be the fiberglass on the fairing here. Well, there's not much else I can do on the pits until the mechanic gets here, and I'm not even 100% certain he's coming today. So I don't want to waste a day, so I'm looking at the Super Duty to see what I can get done on here. So what I've decided to work on today is the Super Duty fairing kit, which you can see here. Now there's a couple missing. This one I already have installed, and this one I already have installed. The first one I have cut and fit is the right wing aft strut fairing and you can see I just have it taped in place the next thing I need to do is just put a couple little sheet metal screws around there to hold it just like I did on my cruiser these little screws work perfectly for holding it to the wing the other thing I want to mention is you can see up here this is where I have mine split it does have to be split obviously to get it around the strut and just think about where you want to split it. I like to split it on the inside because it's the least visible spot, but I've seen some where they're split on the outside, kind of right down the middle here. I've also seen them where they're split right along here. You can probably split them anywhere you want. It doesn't really matter. I think this looks best doing, doing it on the inside just because this is the most visible spot. And if you don't have any splits there, I just think it looks a little better. This is the one for the left wing, so let's get this installed. Now, as you might guess, the first thing we need to do to get this ready is cut off this end here. And to do that, I'm using this little hobby saw. You can probably get these at a local hobby store if you have one. I bought this one on Amazon, and it works absolutely perfect. It's a really, really super fine teeth, and it's a really thin blade, so it works really nice. I'll put a link in the description box below if you want to get one of those. So what I'm going to do is just slice off the very top here. But this plastic is slippery, so you gotta kinda of get it started. After I have it cut, I'll take a piece of wood with sandpaper on it and square this up real nice. All right, then what I do is I just kind of take my fingernail around the edge like that and get, and get rid of all the flashing on there. Might even have to, I'll probably get a, in fact, yeah, I'll, I'll go grab a razor blade and kind of slice it off the inside. All right, so I'm just going to take an X-Acto blade and kind of scrape and cut what I can off of there just to clean up the edge. Ah! 
And I'll just finish it up with a little bit of sandpaper. The next step is going to be to split this so that it can be spread apart and put on the strut. And I'm gonna do that right about here. And that's where this particular saw comes in really nice because it's super thin, just gets a super thin cut. So let's do it. Here we go, we have it split, and you can see once it's on the strut, we can put it back together and you'll barely even, be no you barely even notice that it's cut. Now this would be the fun part, I guess. If you wanna carefully spread it apart and put it around the strut, just like that. Now I can see on mine, well, hold on. I might have to trim the bottom a little bit more to get around the bolt. Now you might notice this area right here, there's a bump molded into the fairing. And that black area you see under there is the steel fitting. So that the fairing has to be moved down on the strut a little bit to fit over that steel part. So as you can see here, I'll need to trim a little bit more off the bottom of the fairing to fit around the bolts. Here we go, just a little bit of trial and error to get it cut perfectly. It's been on and off two or three times. Now what I had to do up here, right here, instead of, keep, instead of cutting this shorter and shorter, I just made a little notch kind of where that bolt goes, as you can kind of see here in this photo. So it's done. Again, just like the other side, I just have to drill a couple holes and put some sheet metal screws in there, and it's ready for paint and finishing. Here's a really fun, quick, and easy fairing to install. I forgot to film it, but this end is closed off on here, just like all of them. And it was all I had to do was just slice that off, and it opens it up to a perfect circle, and it just fits really nice on there. So those are easy to install. Again, probably just uh, maybe even just two sheet metal screws to hold that on. Maybe I'll put two on the sides too. But uh, that one's done. What I'm working on now is the main forward wing strut fairing and this is put on exactly like the aft one so I probably don't need to show you too much again all I did was I took my nice little saw here and just sliced off the end here and then the next thing I'll do is cut this and it should slip right over the strut I might have to trim this back a little bit more again I'm not sure sometimes I try to take as least amount off as I can and then you know, if I have to, I'll trim it again. So we'll see how that works. So you can see I have this one on the front strut right now. And you can see, I'm sure you can see on here where the end of the strut is. You can also see right here is the third hole here. There's three bolts that go in here. And what I've done is take, I took that bolt out uh, because it was much easier to put this on without that bolt and now I can see where that hole is or where the bolt goes and I can trim this up to above that bolt so you can see I've got to trim a good half inch or so off of this but you can see how nicely it fits it really fits really nice it's a real nice fitting good looking fairing really really finishes off the top of these struts nicely I just wanted to show you how I'm doing this. What I did was I taped the fairing in the proper position. And then I used another thinner piece of masking tape just to mark off where I want to cut it. Now the top of the strut goes to almost the top of the masking tape, right about here. So there's still a lot of uh, distance here from the bolt to the top of the strut that the fairing will go over. So, I just found that to be a little bit helpful instead of trying to draw a pen line or something on there. If I just tape this in the proper position, I can put the tape on here and now I can just go back and slice off right at the end of the tape. Change of plans. <laughs> right after I filmed that last clip, I was going to take this off and trim it, but I looked up on the top side here and if I continue this line over, there's just not a whole lot here. I'd rather have this come down further over the, the strut like that. 
So I think what I'm going to do is move this tape down and then what I'll wind up doing is on the bottom of the fairing here, just cutting out like a half circle and that will wind up going around the bolt. That just lets more of the, the fairing come down over the strut. Does that make sense? I hope I explained that well, but that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna move this tape down a little bit. That will give me a little bit more back here. There, I have sliced this or cut this off with the saw to the tape line. I'll take the tape off, clean up that cut, put it back on and see how it works. And if you're wondering, this here saw does cut very nicely through your finger. So I went to Mark's hospital and got it all patched up. Here we go. Here's what it looks like. Now I put a little bolt with a, a washer in here just to kind of show you what it would look like, but obviously the nuts will be on the bottom part here. So this would actually be a nut, but just to give you an idea of what I'm showing you there, that's how it looks. Now what I'll do is I'll take that little bolt out and put a drill bit up through, the, up through here, all the way up through the top, and that'll mark the location up here since I, I can't really get in here with the, the wing. And then I'll just cut a little half moon or half circle out of there too. And you'll notice, I don't know if I can do this with my, while holding the camera, I can't. But this does close up really nice. This gap almost completely disappears. These two match up just perfectly. It's just, you kind of need two hands to hold it in position. But anyway, that's how it fits on there. It looks great, really happy with these. And uh, I'll go ahead and do the other side. Well, that's about all I have time to do today. I got most of the strut fairings done. There's uh, just two more I have to do. That's the rear jury strut fairing. So I'll probably try to do that tomorrow. Speaking of tomorrow, here's what's coming up tomorrow. I have the pits mechanic coming out. He wasn't able to come today because he had a, a higher priority project to do and, and I certainly don't blame him for that. So he's gonna come out tomorrow morning. Then at eight o'clock tomorrow morning, I have a plumber coming out to fix, not fix, but to finish some things that I started years ago, like my sink in the hangar. I put a new sink and countertop and cabinets and stuff in and never finished hooking up the sink. And I've been telling myself for three years that I'm going to do it and I never have. So I've just decided to have a plumber come over and do it. It's gonna be really nice to have that finally hooked up and finally have a working sink in the hangar so that I can wash my hands or wash parts or whatever. <laughs> so that's going on tomorrow morning. Then at noon, Len is gonna come over and we will make the, the uh, fairing for the bottom of the Super Duty windshield. So check back tomorrow, I'll see you then.